What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm Leon Angus and today I'm going to be taking you through an income report for a niche website that I've currently been building for about 18 months or so and every month I do a monthly income report so you can see how much the site is making, all the progress or the losses that it's made. And I just take you through that process so you can actually go out and apply those things and methods to your own business. All right so what we're going to go through today is a website in the dog space. It's specific on golden retrievers. I've done many income reports. Many of you who watch this channel who have been following me for a while know exactly you know the site itself and a few other things about it. But basically this month has been a bit interesting because obviously we've had Amazon's commission rate changes and we've also been going through the pandemic as well. Not only that what I wanted to also inform you on today is that I do have an ebook that I was working on over the course of the last month or so or a few months to be honest and I just released it yesterday. Many of you have opted in to receive a notification on my email list but for those of you who haven't who don't know about the book it's a book on niche websites it shows you step by step absolutely everything that I've done to actually build up this niche website that I'm going to be sharing with you today so it's a very good book it's super super helpful super useful it goes through on-page SEO building a site backlinks content creation gives you templates everything you can think of all of my resources you know my logo peep everything like so whatever it is that you're interested in with niche websites and what I do it's all inside of that resource and it's only for $37 I'd really encourage you to go and check out that book yeah let me know and how it goes for you because if you do if you do find it really useful then I'm sure obviously you know a lot of others would love to hear from you as well all right so that's it for now anyway let's get into the video this video is sponsored by Ezoic Com. If you're looking to monetize your website with ads and increase your user experience and perform the highest yielding revenues, Ezoic is definitely a great way to go. Ezoic is a certified Google publisher that uses machine learning to improve the performance of your website on a per visitor basis. Alongside advertising opportunities, Ezoic also provides you full access to extended tools and features such as Site Speed Accelerator, which is used to increase the site speed loading time of your website on a per page basis you have lazy loading, CDN integration and much much more. Whether you're a B2B business, B2C or plain old affiliate business then Ezoic is definitely a great way to go to increase your earnings and reduce your efforts at the same time. Just click the link in the description or head over to ezoic.com to sign up today. Okay so how many articles does the site have? Well currently it only has 99 articles only? I shouldn't say that. It has 99 articles and the reason why I say only is because I deleted quite a few like a few months ago and then within the last like two months I haven't really added any new articles so I've got like a good like eight or 14 or something pending inside of the uh, drafts section of the website but that's because my content writers have produced that for me and I haven't actually been consistently editing and put, putting out new content purely because I've been focused on the ebook over the car, uh, past two months so because of that the site remains exactly the same untouched about a month and a half or two months ago with just 99 articles. Next part was interesting because we're going to go into traffic and that was quite a substantial amount for last month. So although Amazon made some changes um, I saw a dramatic increase in regards to my SEO. So the site actually got 27,147 views and if you actually take a look at the unique amount of visitors that was 24,329 visitors. So this is quite substantial a big massive increase from the month before okay so we, and it's a record month for the site purely as well so this is almost 30,000 uh, visitors per month that the site's now averaging and I do believe that's going to stay consistent even after the pandemic purely because the site is ranking for a majority of more keywords within the top 10 positions now so I've got quite a lot of number one rankings number two so on and so forth and some of those keywords are for quite substantially searched traffic keywords so I've got a few that bring me in like you know just like 2,000 per page and things like that and if we take a look at the previous month when we compare it against it you can see that the actual page views have increased by 90% that's absolutely ridiculous unique page views have increased by 87% average time spent on pages down 
and bounce rate is higher. All right, so how many articles have been added to the site? I usually go over that. Well, in March, I added eight pieces of article, eight pieces of content, and since then, I haven't added anything. So it's been a little while, and I think those pieces of content are just really starting to gain some traction, which is why I'm seeing this substantial increase in the traffic to the website. And what's interesting about niche websites, what I just wanna put out there, is when you actually have a niche website, it starts off that you're trying to rank and do all these different things, it's very hard, but eventually, your site builds up so much authority that you insta rank and sometimes that doesn't measure in your domain authority or page authority in a metric so forth but just the actual general trust that google has with your website you start to get into authority mode where you can put up a new article as i do these days and it shows up like page three immediately or page four or page two i've had some articles i put up and it's immediately in in, in position three on google like within like 10 minutes you know so these are the things that can start to happen and snowball on, on compound over time from consistent efforts when you're starting this out so the site is now 21 months old so that's almost two years it's coming up to that's quite crazy i do believe that the page views could be way better if it was if i were to build a site like that again with that kind of lifespan on it but of course this was the first site that i ever built and it's kind of like a baby to me you know because it's the one that i really just slugged my guts out on and i didn't really have a clue if it was going to work out so the fact that it did is a pretty good kind of success to me so you know and it taught me a lot and i still use it for a lot of testing and whatever else so it's very good and i've got a lot of transferable skills and knowledge that i now apply to other areas of my business as well. So the site currently has 218 backlinks from 61 referring domains, which is pretty much the same as it was. Do follow ratio of 49%. So that means do follow ratios is essentially where search engines are passing that power from the linking source pages to the pages on my website. So that means that search engine robots are crawling through those links and passing relevancy and power through those links no follow links are ones like blog comments and you know kind of low authority kind of links like spam websites and whatever and search engines are, are instructed not to crawl those type of links it doesn't mean that they don't understand them they're just instructed not to crawl them which is why the no follow tag is assigned to those specific links my keywords have continued to climb because i'm now ranking for over eleven thousand different keywords which is ridiculous and that's in the top 100 results of Google so I've got over 11,000 different keywords that I'm showing up in 0 to 100 with or positions 1 to 100 the backlink strategy so at the moment you know when I started out I was building a few guest posts I've done some social signals I've done some blog comments would I do the same thing now I personally wouldn't do it the same way and I actually share the new methods that I'm using inside of my ebook so there are certain things that I would still repeat rinse and repeat but certain things like blog comments I don't really think are worth your time anymore and that's purely because of what Google has released on the information that these kind of links are no longer taken into account because they're associated with almost like spam links they're of low quality and the way that works is Google disregard them because like if you were to get a bunch of spam links it's the reason why you don't have to disavow your links anymore like disavow any links coming into your site um, in most cases anyway and blog comments as far as I understand comes into that kind of package as well so like I don't actively build them anymore but I mean you would you will still get them if you just go out and genuinely you know comment on blogs and whatever else but I don't actively try and put that into my backlink structure and you tend to just get inbound no follow links as your site grows from what I've seen personally throughout building several sites now as well so I've actually got 89% of my traffic coming from Google SEO which is absolutely brilliant and right behind that I've actually got direct direct traffic coming. So that means people are actively typing in the actual branded domain name and going directly to that resource. But that's very good because obviously it means that I've got a lot of repeat readers coming to the website. So that means the content must be pretty good as well. And just before we get into the most important part of this video, how much the site's actually making, I just wanted to go through a quick tip that I gave in previous videos and also in my ebook is that you can go directly and skip Amazon and go directly to vendors. And just to prove that, I've 
actually got an email that I received from a vendor for a page that I'm ranking for. So I'm ranking for a particular product in a dog niche and I actually got received an email from the vendor directly giving me a prompt to sign up with them opposed to Amazon. So look at what this message said. Hi there, my name is, I'm with blah, blah, blah. Apologies for the direct mail, but with the recent changes in Amazon commission due to the current COVID situation, we now feel that it'd be a perfect time to partner with local businesses so we can help each other out as much as possible. I was reading your post. Thank you so much for featuring our product. Yeah. However, I noticed you could be earning double the commission if you wanted to work directly with our affiliate program versus Amazon's. A perk is I can offer a free shipping to your users. Our average order is $500 and we track users for 90 days. So Amazon only give you a 24 hour cookie. They're offering me almost double the commissions it rates that I would get on Amazon. And on top of it, they're also offering me free shipping. So that's brilliant. That's an incentive specifically for your readers to actually use your links opposed to anywhere else. And you got that 90 day cookie period. So Amazon only give you 24 hours. This means that someone could go off like three months later, come back and I still get that sale, you know, or three months later, I'm not even going to anyone's site, just go to them and buy it and I still get the sale. So that's absolutely brilliant. Okay, but let's get into the most important part of this video. So through Amazon Associates, the site made $970.97. That was an average conversion rate of 22.14%, which is higher than last month because that was only 18.2%. So we've increased just a little bit. Um, last month's earnings previously before that, I believe was like 800 and something or 700 and something. I can't remember what it was. And then I also earned $75 in bonus. So I'm not sure if Amazon actually incorporates that into your global kind of income or if it's just, you know, a bonus that they add on after. I'm actually adding it on separately because I couldn't see that it lined up with the overall earnings from all of the different um, countries and also, you know, the US states full earnings. So it didn't look like it. From Ezoic ads, I actually made $160.03. So that was uh, higher than last month, which was $126.64. And um, on ClickBank, I also made $24.57. I haven't actually been actively really promoting the product that I used to promote on ClickBank. So I will focus more on that. And why I'm happy about getting the ebook done is purely because it's taken up all of my time. So, you know, right now I'm able to focus on everything again because I was almost doing that every single day. So the total that the site earned was $1,230.50. So that's actually a record month for the website, $1,200. Very good, I'm very happy with that. And um, the authority of the site is currently at theme for the domain and the page authority average has increased to 24. So that's very good. The authority of the site is increasing and I purely think that's because it's getting more traffic, more user metrics are being read and understood by Google, which in my case is obviously very good because people are reading the content, clicking off to links that I'm instructing them to. And overall they're having a good experience. So I could imagine that a lot of people are not obviously exiting my page and then researching. Obviously you saw the metrics, so you can see that there are improvements that need to be made, but that's the case with anything, you know? So I think it's very good at the moment, can do with improving. There's always space for improvement, but overall I'm very happy with the progress of the site at the moment. So what will I be doing with this site moving forward? Currently, given the circumstance, I'm gonna be swapping out a lot of those Amazon products for direct vendor products. So I'm gonna be reaching out to a lot of vendors. I do believe the upside to having a site with a substantial amount of traffic is the fact that when you read out, reach out, to vendors, they're going to be a lot more open to actually directly working with you, even if they don't have an affiliate program or if it's like an inside kind of thing. So you'll meet almost all benchmarks with like just under 30,000 visits a month, you know, in most cases. I'm also going to do some article rewrites and purely because all of the articles, I've seen like a, a wave of articles that I'm ranking in like positions 34, positions 50, and they haven't really budged. And I've gone back and actually taken a look at them and seen that they could actively be improved. So I do use Surfer S SEO, if any of you don't know what that tool is, especially essentially an on-page tool. It helps you to do your keyword density, which is measured in TFIDF, which is term frequency inverse document frequency. And all that is, is just measuring how many times you should use a particular keyword on the page, okay? And that's doing it with correlation kind of marketing. So it's actually looking at the top 10 pages and seeing what they all have in correlation. So then you can actually emulate that same density within your articles as well, because it's what Google wants to see for that particular keyword 
keyword in that particular space, okay? I'm also going to run a backlink campaign. Um, I do think that the site could do with some more active, uh, good, strong links. And especially at the stage where it's at at the moment, I could hit it with some strong links and really improve the backlink uh, profile. So when I was starting out on this particular site, I didn't have that much knowledge about backlinks and whatever else. As many of you know, you know, content is where we focus most of our efforts on the on-site basis when you're starting out. But as you get more experience, you really need to hone in on those backlinks because it is a key ranking factor on Google in order to really build up the authority of your site and help you to make more rankings and more earnings as a result of that as well. So next month's goal monetary, I'm, I'm, I'm shooting for 800 to 1000. And the reason why I'm shooting for that is purely because I do think that there was a substantial increase in earnings, particularly this month because of the uh, pandemic. I don't think the earnings are going to be as high, but I do believe the traffic is going to stay stable. So although um, what I'm trying to say is I don't think I would be able to monetize that traffic at the high rate that I did before the Amazon changes at the moment. So over the course of like three or four months, I will restore it back to that because the biggest thing I've got at the moment is the traffic. So that's very good. Once you've got the traffic, you can do a lot with it. Okay. Um, also, where would I value the site at the moment? Well, I would definitely value it at the moment, anywhere between a 20 to $30,000 range. And the reason why I've got such a broad kind of gap with that is purely because the site has quite a lot of substantial good content. I don't have any black hat or gray hat techniques on that site. So it doesn't have any PBNs or anything like that. So it's a very white hat kind of good site. The other thing is that the traffic has shown consistent growth month over month for, for the most part. And we've had a substantial increase um, over the course of the last 28 days as well. And on top of it, I just believe that there's still room for improvement and growth. So I'm only monetizing with three channels at the moment. And there's many more avenues that someone can actually go into if they were to buy the site. So given the circumstance in the pandemic, I would actually usually kind of put that, you know, if it done like another thousand dollars over the next two months, I'd put it at about 25,000 to $30,000. If it does that at the moment, I think given the circumstance, you know, I've still seen sites selling for the same kind of 30X multiple, but I think, you know, probably people are not going to be as motivated to make an investment into an Amazon site as they were before. So we'll have to see how that works out. Overall, I'm happy with the progress of the site. Record month, very good, nice bit of money there. Yeah, like if you basically haven't um, seen my ebook, I would really highly recommend you to check it out. I know I've promoted it a few times in this video, but I've honestly put in so much information into that book. It will literally change the way that you do your ranking websites and SEO and whatever else, you know? So if you're having any kind of trouble or you're someone who watches these videos, then go and get the resource, go and get the blueprint, opposed to actually just trying to piece it all together. For $37, honestly, you're going to make back thousands. And that's one thing I just, at my level now, invested into a course at, at, on a discount for $500, you know? So I, I'm still constantly, you know, always improving and always trying to get better. And that's part of um, succeeding. You know, you, you have to keep investing into yourself and your brain and your knowledge. All right, so that's it anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. If you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe. And if you have any questions as per usual, then reach out to me. You can book coaching calls on my website. Links are below in the description or leave a comment and I'll get back to you ASAP pronto. All right, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.